G'day guys, there's less than a week to go until cod season opens so I wanted to take a few minutes to run you through what lures I'm going to be using for cod opening. Righto, so this isn't a conclusive list, it's just a list of what I'm hoping to take out with me when the season opens. I'll also take them out throughout the seasons. I may also have a few other lures that I buy and pop up here and there, whether it's on the first trip or throughout the season. But this is my starting template. This is what I'm taking with me when I go fishing from day one. So start off with, you can't go wrong with a size one stump jumper. Absolutely love that colour too. Spotted frog or something, not sure what that is, but I absolutely love that stump jumper. Funnily enough, I'm yet to catch a fish on it, but that's number one. Now, another size one stump jumper, I'm pretty sure that's toffee apple colour. Again, haven't caught a fish on it yet. Hoping too soon. Uh, I've got a couple of other stump jumpers here. These are size two, so they're a bit smaller. Good for the shallower water or in tighter spots. Again, another spotty sort of green and black pattern there. I love that. I'm not even sure what you'd call that colour, but that's another size 2 stump jumper. You might notice I use rubber bands to uh, tether the hooks together there. That just makes them easier to get out of my uh, tackle box. I'll show you what I use for a tackle box in a minute. I just don't want to tip all the lures out while I show you. So another size 2 stump jumper. Uh, let me see. There we go. What I call my Hawthorne coloured stump jumper that's another size two and the brown and gold there up the hawks <laughs> uh, can't wait to give that a run this season uh, now they're all the stump jumpers I've got in the kit for now they're available from any good tackle store uh, what else have we got let's jump into an Arashi storm that's a rattling deep 18 bit of a natural color and pattern on that one a bit like a carp kind of that one um, I love how steep these things dive they're good if you want to throw them right up against a log where the water's a bit deeper and they can get down to the depths a lot quicker than some of the other diving lures. So that one's there. A pink and purple old mate. Gotta love those things. This is another one I haven't caught a fish on yet, but I'm hoping to come this cod season. Alright, let's get into some spinner and chatterbaits. I haven't actually opened this one yet. It's uh, Unleashed Lures, that's probably backwards. I, I know what I'll do, I'll flip the video for this so all the labels come out the right way. <laughs> uh, Unleashed Lures. Now that is a chatterbait. I haven't got great success with those. In fact, I've never caught a fish on a chatterbait at all because I usually catch snags with them and lose me lure. But I'm looking forward to throwing that. Uh, another Unleashed Lures, hasn't been opened yet. Spinnerbait with a white curl tail grub there. Two Colorado blades, that thing looks good as well. Pretty much the same thing but with a black grub. Now yeah, we'll get into, got a few of these ones as well. NKR spinnerbaits. Now I caught a cod on one of those at the Elmore Weir a few videos back. Uh, it wasn't this one, but it's the same design as that, just a different colour. Uh, there's the one I caught the cod on at the Elmore Weir in the fluoro yellow and purple. This thing felt unreal coming through the water by the way. So I'll be throwing that around as well. Uh, same thing but with only a single blade and that is my three favourite lure colours there all in one. The green, the orange and the yellow and a bit of a black spotty pattern through the skirt there as well. So. Uh, I do have one other spinner bait which I've been hanging on to because it's a bit big for yellow belly. <laughs> there we go. That is a mother frogger spinner bait from Gangster Lures. It's got the dual kicking legs, a full frog plastic on it there. Uh, purple and pink and a bit of glitter. That thing looks absolutely magic. I did give it a throw back in winter. Didn't do any good with it though, considering it was quiet, that was to be expected. But I'm looking forward to throwing that once the season opens. I picked that one up from Trellies in Bendigo. Brilliant lure. Righto. Uh, I've got another couple of diving lures there, but I'm going to save those because they're still in the packet and I only just bought them on the way down the bush here to film this video. Now I'll get into some of the surface lures I'm going to be throwing in the morning and evening periods. So I'll start off with my absolute favorite surface lures Coolabung Cod Walker 
cannot go wrong with these things. They are absolutely magic and one of the best hookup rates on a surface lure I've ever seen. Uh, another one of those. Midnight black. I should probably hold it from that side, shouldn't I? Midnight black there with some red eyes. That's another Coolabung Cod Walker. There'll be a link in the description where you can pick them up from Codmac. They're absolutely brilliant little lures. And probably, oh look, I said they were my favourite, but these are also my favourite. Equal favourite, equal favourite. The Bassman Aussie Crawler. Now, I'll take the rubber band off. That's a winged lure. I caught a, I think it was low 70 centimetre, 73 centimetre cod it might have been, or 69, something like that. Um, on... I think it was this one in a video. I'll show you a short clip of that. But you can see the wings flap back and forth a bit like a jackal pompadour. This thing is pretty bloody big and the cod love them. I've had so many buffs. You can see the teeth marks. See if you can see all them in the top there. The cod absolutely, if it's going to focus. Hang on. Does it help if I touch? Doesn't seem to. You can, there's heaps of scrapes in it anyway. It's not really picking them up. But there's so many teeth marks in this thing. The cod absolutely love the Bassman Aussie Crawler. And that's another one you can pick up from most good tackle stores, guys. I've got another one of those. Red and black. I've had some buffs on that. I don't think I've actually hooked a fish on it. But um, again, another amazing lure. The noise, and the, uh, the noise and the look of these coming through the water is unbeatable. Now I have got... Most cod fishermen that fish on the surface will have one of these, at least one of these in their tackle box. That's a jackal pompadour. Again, that's another one you can pick up from most good tackle stores. And this one was sent to me by an American friend. That is a Whopper Plopper. I think it's a Whopper Plopper 75. Now you can only buy them online. I don't think there's any retailers in Australia that stock them. So just, uh, I'll leave a link where I find them and you can buy them online if you're interested in one of those. But they're also good for yellow belly off the top, the old Whopper Plopper. Now, what haven't I mentioned? Uh, old mate, I'm pretty sure they're exclusive to Trellies. I'll leave a link to the Trellies website so you can check them out or drop into your nearest Trellies store. Um, that's about it. I've got a, a cheap... Uh, might be Jarvis Walker or something surface popper from Big W I want to give that a run at some stage and I've got a couple of Z-Man frog plastics to work along the top as well when the time calls for it now to the lures I've bought on the way here I've never used them before but they looked good in the shop while I was driving out here so I've got a RMG poltergeist the colors on that I might just un I might quickly unbox these so I can give you a proper look at them. But uh, I've never used one of these before. It just looked awesome on the shelf, so I picked it up on the way here. And they're made by Halco, I believe. There you go. Look at the colours and design on that. Keen to give that a run. There it is, Halco. I thought so. So yeah, that dives to five meters as well. So that'll be good in the deeper pools and the wider rivers. Uh, it might be good to trawl from the kayak as well in the lakes, but there you go. There's that one uh, a larger RMG. I'll show you in the packet first That one I just love you might remember Robbie has a lot of success on a predator lure That's orange and black. Unfortunately, I couldn't find one of them where I went But this thing was bright orange with a flash of silver as well. I thought that looked the goods for a Murray cod as well So I grabbed that Quickly rip that out. Oh god don't want to hook myself. <laughs> Flying everywhere. Come out. There we go. So there you go. This one's also rated to 5 metres. Oh, that's got a good rattle, actually. But yeah, look at that. Bit of a mirror, scaled mirror design there. You can actually see my phone in the background of the reflection. But that's another Halco RMG. That should be great as well. And I grabbed this one. Now, ballista is not something I use a lot. Um, my mates use them to with great success, but this one was five bucks marked down. I had to grab it. So that's a, a ballista dyno uh, Now all ballista lures have an LED light that flashes when you use them or when it gets wet I'm not sure how that works uh, a dyno 90 says there, but I'll grab that out and we'll have a look at that as well Bit of a subtle rattle on that one that's all right. The flashing light makes up for that. It's sort of transparent on the sides. A green and yellow and black spotty pattern on the top that's a bit scaled there. 
some stripes of red belly, stripes on the side, yellow eyes. That thing looks mint actually. Gee, the hooks are shiny. <laughs> nice big bib. What does that dive to? Does it say? Uh, eight meters. So there you go. That one goes even deeper than the RMGs I picked up. So I've got a lure for all occasions there pretty much. Um, obviously I don't have any swim baits and that. I'm not overly confident using them given the price and the fact that I'll probably lose them on the first cast in, the, in a river like the Compaspi. But there you go. Uh, oh, oh yes, and uh, this is what I use for a tackle box. It is simple as, it's got a handle there. It's the same size as the trays are that fit in my tackle bag, so that works really well. It's got a fair bit of depth to it. The camera's actually sitting on the lid, so I can't show you that. But that sits up about another that high above the container. And it just clips on four sides like that. And as I showed you, all of my trebles are banded together like that. So I can just throw them all in. They rattle around. I can grab out what I want pretty easily. That works really well. And the only other thing I'm going to be taking out is my deeper fish finder. Because that'll help me find the holes and structure where Murray Cod will be likely to be hiding. Uh, unfortunately, I left that at home. I can't hold it up for the camera, but I've done videos on it in the past. I'll leave a link to those. I might even show a short clip while I'm talking here of that in action. But there you go. That's the lures I'll be taking out for the start of Murray Cod season for 2020. Uh, very excited. When I'm recording this, it is Wednesday the... I don't know, it's Wednesday and cod season opens on Tuesday next week. So there you go, there's six days left. That'd make this about the 24th, wouldn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I probably should have looked at that before I started talking. But anyway, there's a preview of the uh, lures I'm going to be taking out for cod opening. Um, as I said, they will change from time to time. I'll add and subtract depending on what I think will work on the day. Um, I may go out and use one lure for cod opening, I may go out and throw ten different ones, depends if what I'm using is working and it suits the conditions and all that sort of thing. Anyway, I wish you all the best to uh, get onto some cod this season guys, good luck, and uh, I'll see you next time.